dance beautiful people welcome back to my channel y'all yes it is valentine's day week love is in the air for those of us who have somebody special or not it's all good because you know why you should be your first love okay now she's giving you valentine's yes she got pink on she got the red lipstick for y'all so we're gonna have fun in this video it's gonna be a story about my valentine's or not so let me ask you a question. Who do you know? What girl do you know who gave up a romantic weekend getaway? Literally days before Valentine's. Yes, you guessed it. Yours, me, moi, her, she. Oh, girl. Yes, okay. This story, I don't know. <laughs> so, yes, here we go. Here we go about the story. Ah, what girl... Do you know who gives a Valentine's Day literally like a few days before you know Valentine's? Whew, I'm gonna need my fin for this one. <laughs> okay, I was seeing this guy, you know, for about, a, you know, like two months or so, you know, nice guy, really nice guy. But, you know, there was just some things missing, you know, like, like I was saying, ladies and gentlemen, you need to know your core values, okay? You need to know what is a deal breaker, what's not. So like I said, great guy, nothing really wrong, you know, but it's just that one major thing, okay? He does not go to church, all right? Yes, I said it. For me, my number one criteria is that a man has to go to church, so yes, you know, going to church is major for me. It really is a major part of my life. I don't want a guy who just go to church. He has to like actively participate in church, you know, because I participate in church, you know, as a matter of fact, if God's willing, this summer I plan on going on a mission trip, you know, so it's like I can't see myself being with a man, having a husband who is allergic basically to going to church but yet you believe in Jesus like I don't understand that like please help me to understand it's like saying you like money you want to work but then you don't go to but then you don't go to work or say you like education you value education but yet you don't go to school like how is that you know it doesn't make any sense to me so yeah I, I had to just come to reality just you know know my core values this is a good lesson learned you know know your core values you need to know your core values you need to know what you're willing to accept in a relationship and what you're not willing to accept in a relationship so yeah that's like a major turn on for me i love it when i go to church i see a man there you know participating leading a group being a group leader you know just being an usher that's like my number one, okay? And then, you know, a deal breaker to me, another one is like a man who cannot communicate. What is up with these people, who, men and women? Like, you all need to communicate. What's up with, if you're feeling a certain type of way, you give each other the silence treatment. Like you, you know, like, how could you have a relationship and be a leader if you're a man? or be submissive if you're a woman and don't communicate. It's like playing mind. This is all a mind game. You know, it's all a mind game, that's all it is. Trying to control the other person because if somebody check you on your bad behavior, you shut down and that telling the other person, what a minute, why is he or she shutting down? Did I do something wrong? You know? And so it's like a way to try to control somebody else's behavior when you shut down and you don't communicate. And you know what? The only person who tries to control somebody else is a witch or a devil. Because God don't believe in doing that. So, mm -mm. <laughs> So yeah, y'all. So that's my Valentine's Day. Nah. This girl is gonna be fine. This Valentine's Day. And you know what? The first this is the first Valentine's Day that I don't really care about not having a Valentine's. Can you believe that? Like I'm usually the one who's like, okay, what am I doing for the time? Where am I going? Where, where's my date? Da -da -da -da. Where's my outfit? This Valentine's just like, you know what? What 
this Valentine's Day, I'm like, uh, whatever, you know, whatever. So yes, ladies and gentlemen, know your core values, know what you really, truly want in a partner. Be the prize, okay? Because I'm thinking, like, I could have just gone on a romantic weekend getaway and then just, you know, dump him like a week later, but no. I'm a Christ lover and I'm the prize. Girls who are the prize, men who are the prize, we don't use people. You know why? Because we could provide for ourselves. I could take myself on a weekend getaway anytime. So you know what? I'm not with you for what you have or what you can give me. I'm with you because I want to be with you. I want to find my 100% whole complete partner because I'm a whole and complete woman and I'm working on myself, you know, learning, sharing, educating, investing in myself, or, you know, so that I can be a great partner. <laughs> so yes, y'all, enjoy your Valentine's Day. You know, for those of you who have a Valentine's Day, for those of you who does not have a Valentine's Day, it's okay. It's not the end of the world. You know what I'm saying? The next day will be fine. It's going to be, a, you know, the 15th will be here before you know it. And remember, your first love is yourself. Okay? God, you, and your unconditional ones. Happy Valentine's Day. Love y'all. See you in the next video.